boys and girls, this is Mrs. Ott and I'm so happy that you're here to make art with me. Today we're going to be painting a really cute seal. And before we start, does anybody know where does a seal live? Where can you find seals? Can you find them in rivers? Can you find them in lakes? Can you find them in ocean? So we're going to find out in just a little bit. But before we do, let's review the materials that we're using today. So we're going to be using uh, watercolors, any watercolors that you have. I have two sets, so I can use both of them. I can use one of them. Uh, we're going to be using oil pastels. Um, if you do not have oil pastels, you can also use crayons, which works the same. Actually, we're only using the black. And if you don't have either of these, you can also substitute for a Sharpie for your outline. And you need water, of course, and brushes. So this is my ballerina brush, which is the smallest brush, and a medium brush. And paper. Paper, you could use drawing paper, which is what we're using. But if you have watercolor paper, it's actually better to use watercolor paper. But again, use whatever you have. So let's get started. All right, boys and girls, before we start uh, painting our little seal, we're going to just look at a few pictures so you can see what they look like in real life. So this one is a seal um, underwater. And so they have a really cute body and fins and a tail back there. And they also go on land. So this one is just resting on a rock. And here in Santa Barbara, we have them in the harbor. We can see lots of seals. So they're super, super cute. And then this one here just has its little head sticking out of the water. He's curious. He came up to see what's going on. And so this is basically the way we are going to be painting our seal. So just a little head sticking out of the water and really cute little eyes and whiskers and a nose. And here's a super, super cute one. So this one has his little tongue coming out and he looks absolutely adorable. But I want you to notice the black eyes, the little freckles here, really nice whiskers. So we're gonna go ahead and start our seal painting. I'm gonna put this away and maybe I'm gonna make my screen just a little bit bigger so you could see my paper. We're going to start with a black oil pastel. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons. You can also use a Sharpie. So basically they will resist and they are waterproof. So I'm gonna start with just a head and it's two small dots right here. And then we have the nose, like that, which is kind of an oval. And here is the shape for the mouse. And then you can add some little freckles here. And then your whiskers are going to be like that. And then we're going to add the face which is just kind of an upside down U shape like that and here is our little seal and then we're going to add your horizon line so horizon line separates the sky from the ocean so my horizon line comes from one end of the paper and you're going to go behind your seal hop over the seal to the other side like that and then we're going to add some really cool waves so maybe you can have a little wave like that here and then you can have some wave shapes so they could be kind of like that but they can also be so, so waves have different shapes just wavy lines some can have just a little bit of a tall so kind of like that and then behind um, your seal, you can decide if you'd like to have mountains or if you want to have a sunset. 
So I'm going to have a little mountain on this side and maybe another one just showing up here. And I love having the sun somewhere. So I'm gonna make my sun, big sun right here. So when we're done with our oil pastel drawing, we're going to start with watercolors. So I'm going to get ready. I have my watercolors right here. And we're gonna look at our colors and our little seal is kind of a brownish color. So always have a piece of paper to test your colors. So I'm gonna test my brown. So this brown is not as red as I would like it to be. So maybe I can see if I add a little bit of red in here to make it more like a brownish red. And I'm gonna add maybe I have another brown. Oh, this is green. That's why you have to always test your colors. I think this is pretty good. Now remember that your uh, oil pastel will resist. So it's not going to wash away. And I can go over like this. And remember if you want it to be a little bit more reddish, a reddish brown, then you can add a little bit of red. So I'm just gonna add a little bit and maybe even a little bit of yellow. Almost out of yellow here. So just find maybe a little bit of orange. So basically our we're trying to find to make a nice rich brown for the seal and you see how watercolor is very uh, transparent so you can go over it and over it and kind of blend your colors so now that I have a nice brown seal I'm gonna work in my ocean will have blues and greens so I can experiment with different shades of blues Again, try your colors, test your colors. Maybe I have some green here. Oh, that's a really, really beautiful blue. So I'm gonna use all my shades of blues and greens. And then um, I'm gonna paint my mountains maybe in shades of purple. And my sun will be yellow and orange. And then behind here, I'm gonna have a sunset. So decide on all your colors as you paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my painting. and girls now that I have my ocean all in shades of blues and greens and the reason that the color changes is is when is because of the the reflection of also the sky and the light on the ocean so every time you go to the ocean I want you to look at the color and see how it's always different so that's why you want to make it different shades not just one shade so I used a darker blue and this is like a turquoise which is a blue green and a little bit of green now the mountains are way far 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 away and so maybe they're green but since the Sun is setting there will be we're not sure what color is there so it's gonna be kind of a darker shade of blue or purple it's far in the distance and here's the setting Sun now before I do my sunset I wanted to bring back my little poster about colors. So in the ocean, we have cool colors, which will be all shades of blues and greens. And I also have my purple here in my mountain. Now in my background, way over there, I'm gonna have a sunset, which will be made out of warm colors like the sun. So I'm gonna start with my yellow, and then little by little, I'm gonna have a gradient 
of colors going from yellow to orange to dark orange and then to red. So I'm going to take, actually this one is out of yellow. So I'm going to take my other pan of watercolors and I'm going to start with my sunset. So going from yellow to orange to red. When I'm done with my sunset, I can actually go back and add a few more details. So I'm going to go back. My watercolor is almost dry. It dries really, really fast. But I want to add maybe a few more details. So I'm going to go back with a little bit of blue and just highlight a few of these waves so they can look like they're going up a little bit more. So again, these are just a few details. You don't have to put it in each wave, maybe just a, a few of the waves, just like that. Just a little bit. Then you can go back and kind of smooth it out so it's not as strong. But still, this will give you kind of a sense of fullness Kind of like the waves are a little bit more real and less flat so that's why i like to add a little bit right here maybe even our horizon line which is all the way over there we can add a little bit of blue and you can even just kind of feather it like this which means i'm just going to go back and forth with my paintbrush and add a little bit of texture to my waves. And then I'm gonna also add a little bit more to my mountains. So right here. So that they are not as flat. So just right there. I'm also look, going to look at my little otter and see if I wanted to add a little bit more brown. So let's see. So again, these are details that are really important. And I'm just noticing that my the nose of my little otter should be really dark, dark black. So, oh, that is so much better. I also lost my little eyes a little bit. So I'm going to just go in very lightly and add a little bit of black so much better wow that made such a huge huge difference now the one last thing that i want to do is maybe have a little bit of white so if my, my white was dirty just now i am going to go and clean it really well and I have to get my ballerina brush. I'll be back in just a minute. I am back. I went to look for my ballerina brush. The ballerina brush is the smallest brush. So if you wanted to add a little bit of spray, which is basically when you go to the ocean and you see waves crashing into each other and you'll see a little bit of white at the top of the waves. So you can add that by dipping your brush into white, if you have white in your watercolor, and then put your finger over your page like this, close to your paper, and just tap your ballerina brush. So let's try on this side of the paper, just to see. Do you see these small little specks of white? So you wanna make sure your, your brush is really 
has a lot of white and then just take close and just add small little sprays and this could be just everything you need just a little bit now it's a little bit on like the face of my little otter and what this does it also gives you um, a lot of movement to the painting just adding a little bit of white just like that so again this is completely optional and maybe you don't want any white and you wanted to leave it the way it was before so that's up to you.